A furcher in the diaphragm or opening in the diaphragm. The mnemonic here is very energetic army. Start with T8, make the two difference like T8, T10 and T12. Very energetic army. V is from very V, this V is for vernacular opening, this E is for esophageal opening and A is for aortic opening. The inferior, the vernacular opening, it is located at the 8 vertebral level and it tra transmit inferior vernacular. From this vernacular, you will remember inferior vernacular and right phrenic narrow. So this is the inferior vernacular and right phrenic narrow. I will, I will, uh, I will talk about another mnemonic. Just wait for this vernacular opening. E is a esophageal opening, energetic is a esophageal opening, it is located at T10 vertebral level. It is started with O, but here from this energetic I will say it is started with E. So it transmits esophagus and as it is located at the T10 level, so 10 cranial nerve is the vagus nerve, left gastric artery and esophageal, esophageal uh, veins. Aortic opening. It is located at T12 vertebral level and it transmit aorta, a zygous vein from this A you will remember aorta, from this A you will remember a zygous vein and the aorta color is red, okay, the oxygenated blood, a zygous is blue and thoracic duct, the color is actually green but inside the lymphatic fluid is present in the thoracic duct which are white, so instead of green you here can say white, so red, blue, white. Aorta, azygous vein and thoracic duct. And the aortic opening is the posterior opening in the diaphragm. For vena opening, you can also remember another mnemonic that is patrol V8 car. This patrol V8 car you can see in Dubai or you can see in Arab countries. It's my favorite. You can search it on Google. Patrol V8. So here I will say patrol, patrol V8 car. P is par perinic and this RT is par right. So right perinic narrow. V is par vena opening. And so inferior vena cava and 8 is for T8, car is for central tendon. The vena cava opening is located in the central tendon. So just remember, patrol V8. The diaphragm is consisting of two crusts, the right crust and left crust. The right crust arises from L1, L2 and L3. The left crust arises from L1 and L2. And the, uh, the ligament which arch between the right crust and left crust are which attach the right crust with the left crust that is called median ligament. How do you remember the median ligament? There is the word N, I N. This N is for in between the right crust and left crust. This is the 12th thoracic rib. This is the 12th thoracic vertebra L1, L2 and L3. This is the transverse process of L1. Now from the body of uh, L2 to the transverse process of L1 the ligament, the fascia is condensed or the fascia is going to form a ligament which is called medial arcuate ligament. Medial arcuate ligament, medial arcuate ligament, that was median. So here this is the medial arcuate ligament. A medial arcuate ligament is made from the fascia of the source major muscle. So it means the medial arcuate ligament uh, in, uh, arch over the source major muscle. This is the source major muscle, this is the fascia of the source major muscle. So here the fascia has become thickened and which form the medial arcuate ligament. The lateral arcuate ligament attached extend from 12th thoracic rib to the transverse process of L1 and it includes or it arch over the quadratus lumborum muscle. Now this is the cisterna chile and which later I'm going to form the thoracic duct. Now another important point we, get, we have to remember that this, this is the sympathetic trunk and this is the subcostal narrow the sympathetic trunk run behind the medial arcuate ligament the subcostal narrow run behind the lateral arcuate ligament so how do we remember it it's important for mcqs if you guys can see here is the subcostal narrow in the subcostal there is at the end there is t a l word and so if i start from here l a t this will be for lateral arcuate ligament so the subcostal narrow run behind the lateral arcuate ligament the sympathetic trunk run behind the medial arcuate ligament like as i say from this source major muscle so the source major muscle fascia is going to form the medial arcuate ligament this m is for medial arcuate ligament this s will be for sympathetic trunk the splanchnic narrow fast through the both uh, crust, I mean the splan splanchnic narrow fast through the substance of right crust and left crust. The hemizygous uh, vein fast through the left crust and the left phrenic narrow fast through the left dome up diaphragm. So the medial arcuate ligament is formed by lumbar fascia, diaphragm, fascia of sauce major and pectineal thickening. If you see fascia of sauce major, so this is the medial from this M, I will remember that the answer is like C, 
fascia of source major as i already said the medial arcuate ligament uh, they are going to form from the fascia of the source major muscle or the medial arcuate ligament arch or the source major muscle source major muscle we pronounce it from, from this s this s will be for sympathetic trunk the sympathetic trunk also run behind the medial arcuate ligament that can be also another mcqs now which of the following pass through the uh, through posterior diaphragm opening as i already say very energetic army army is for aortic and this aortic this aortic opening is the posterior opening so it's mean the they say the posterior diaphragmatic opening they are mean the aortic opening and in the aortic opening what are going to pass that is the thoracic duct and esophagus vein the answer here is b now which of the following is true regarding vena cava opening this so this is the, i made by myself this mcqs and it may be a little difficult but it's not that much difficult you, if you just remember this the mnemonic fat roll v8 car v is for perineum r t is for right v is for vena cava so inferior vena cava and 8 is 48 and car is for central tendon now look for this transmit vena cava i mean the inferior vena cava right perineum nerve located in the central tendon okay transmit vena cava left perineum nerve located in the left crest transmit vena cava right perineum nerve located in the left crest so the answer go for right perineum nerve here i have right perineum nerve okay vena cava here i have vena cava and central tendon it's located in the central tendon so the answer here is a nerve supply of diaphragm the motor nerve motor supply and sensory supply the motor is by perineum nerve c3 c4 c5 free uh, dominantly by c4 and the sensory is for central that is perineum nerve and periphery that is intercostal